If you're seeing this error in Chrome or this error in Safari, you've come to the right place. Most other videos for this are quite long and give you lots of tips to fix it because there's an element of trial and error to fixing this error since it can be caused due to an issue in your browser or device or router or internet service provider. But in this video, I'll give you the top 5 methods that work for 90% cases which will save you a lot of time and unnecessary headaches. In case you're among the unlucky 10% for whom these 5 methods do not work, then no need to worry. I'll mention 4 tricks in the last chapter to help you out. But first, Welcome to our channel. Our team has built multiple successful plugins that manage more than a million sites. And here, we help you find your website mojo through weekly videos to fix website issues and improve website performance. So hit that subscribe button so you do not miss out. All right, let's begin. First, let's quickly understand what is DNS proof finished NX domain error and what causes it. In order to understand what this error means, let's first break down the error message. The DNS, which is a short for domain name system, basically acts like the internet's phone book for websites. You see, every website has a server IP address that looks something like this. Instead of having to remember these numbers each time you want to visit a site, you enter a memorable domain name or URL such as malcare.com, after which you press enter and the domain name system starts working to connect that URL to the IP address of the actual server. This is called DNS name resolution. If DNS fails to find the domain name or address, then instead of seeing the website you're trying to visit, you might see an error page. The NX domain part stands for non-existent domain. So what causes DNS to fail and show this error? It can happen for several reasons such as this. Okay, now let's discuss the top five methods to fix the DNS probe finished NX domain error. Okay guys, I'm going to give you step-by-step -step instructions to perform all five methods first on Chrome and then on your Windows or Mac device. You should try the Chrome version of each method and if that doesn't work, then you should try the Windows or Mac version. If one method doesn't work for you, you should move on to the next method. Yes, this requires some patience, but stay strong. All right, let's begin. Number one, flush the DNS cache. Clearing or flushing the DNS cache is one of the most recommended solutions to fix this error. The DNS cache keeps all the IP addresses of the websites a client previously visited on the computer. That said, some IP addresses in the DNS cache may be outdated, leaving the computer unable to find the right website. Now, I'll show you how to flush the DNS cache for Chrome, Windows and Mac. How to flush DNS cache for Google Chrome. Google Chrome has a separate DNS cache from the operating system, so flushing it may fix your DNS error. To do so, enter this text into the Chrome address bar, then click clear host cache. Now go ahead and check if the DNS error is gone. If not, move on to the next step. How to flush DNS cache for Windows? On the start menu, search for the command prompt. Then right click to select run the administrator option. Once a new window appears, type in the commands below. Then hit enter. Open the browser to see whether the DNS probe finished NX domain error still exists. How to flush DNS cache for Mac OS? Open the terminal application and enter the following commands. Then press the return key. Insert your password and press return again. Then open the browser and check if the error is still there. Number two, release and renew the IP address. This is a more in-depth way of clearing the DNS cache. It can troubleshoot network connection issues by giving up the lease to your computer's old IP address and requesting a new one. Number one, how to release and renew IP address in Windows. Just like the previous method, right click on the command prompt and select run as administrator. Insert the following commands and press enter between each one. Doing this can also prevent potential errors due to malicious scripts from downloaded files. Once done, close the command prompt and restart the computer. Then open the browser to see whether the DNS error is still there. Number two, how to release and renew IP addresses in macOS. Unlike with Windows, macOS users don't need to open a command line interface to release and renew the IP address. Follow these steps. Go to the system preferences and then network. Select your current internet connection and click on the advanced button. Navigate to the TCP IP tab and click renew DHCP release. Press OK. Restart the computer and check if the error message still persists. If you are still seeing an error message, not to worry, just try the next method. Number three, change the DNS servers. If clearing the cache doesn't work, we can also consider changing the DNS servers. Here's how you do it. How to change DNS servers in Google Chrome. Enter this text on the address bar to access the Chrome DNS settings. Scroll down to the advanced section and select with custom. Users can change it to one of the built-in DNS server addresses from Cloudflare, OpenDS, Clean Browsing or Google. Check if the error code has disappeared. If the error code has still not disappeared, don't feel disheartened, hang in there, try the next method. How to change DNS servers in Windows. Open the control panel. 
go to network and internet and then network and sharing center on the left side of the window click change adapter settings right click on the current connection and choose properties choose internet protocol version 4 tcp ip4 or internet protocol version 6 tcp ipv6 and press the properties button at the bottom of the window select use the following dns server addresses and insert the following numbers below preferred dns server 8888 for IP4 or 2001 for IP6. Alternate DNS server 8844 for IP4 or 2001-4860-4860-8844 for IP6. Once done, click OK to save the changes. Restart the browser and see if the method resolves the Chrome error. How to change DNS servers in macOS? First, open system preferences and go to network. Pick your current local area connection, hit the advanced button, navigate to the DNS tab, press the plus button and type in the new IP4 or IP6 DNS servers. Type in each address one by one, then press OK. Open the browser to see if the error code has disappeared. If you're a Windows user, restart the DNS client service. This is a method available only for Windows users. So if you're on a Mac, skip this chapter and go to the next one. All right, so one more way of reconfiguring your DNS settings is by restarting the DNS client service. Basically, the DNS client service is supposed to run automatically when you start the computer. In case it doesn't, it will make the browser unable to access any website. I'll show you two methods for doing this. Number one, simply open up the command prompt by pressing the Windows logo key and R. Then type services MSC and hit enter. Scroll down to DNS client, right click on it and select restart. If the restart option is grayed out for you, as it was for us, an alternative way is to do this via the command prompt. Open up the command prompt by pressing the Windows logo key and R. Then type command and hit enter. Then enter the following commands. Depending on the version of Windows you're running, you might get an error like this. If you're running into this error, we suggest trying the other methods mentioned in this video because solving this is quite complicated. If none of the other methods in this video work, you can check the link in description once again to try this method for resolving this error. Now, we have one last popular fix for the DNS probe error, which is to check and change the local host file. The local host file matches a domain name to its IP address. Computers refer to it every time you open a website so that they can fetch the correct page to display on the browser. In some cases, the host's file may have unknowingly marked a specific domain name or IP address as inaccessible. So checking and editing the file can potentially fix the DNS error. How to check and edit host file on Windows? In the search box, type notepad and select run as administrator. Navigate to file, open. Change the file filter from text documents to all files. Enter the path below in the file name bar. Select the host's file and open it. The file will show a list of blacklisted websites below the last line using the hash symbol. If the domain name and IP address of the target websites are there, remove them and save changes. Visit the previously blocked websites to check if the DNS error has gone. How to check and edit host file on Mac? Open the terminal application. Enter the command shown here, then insert your password. You'll be redirected to the host's file. Delete the websites listed below this line. Remove the inaccessible site's information and then press Command plus O to override the host's file. Hit return to confirm the changes. Then open the formerly blacklisted sites and see if the DNS error has been resolved. So, if you've tried the top 5 methods to fix this error and you're still stuck, do not worry, I have 4 more tricks to help you. Most of these are self-explanatory and easy to do, I'll just explain resetting Chrome flags. Sometimes Chrome settings or experimental features can get accidentally changed or messed up. You can reset these back to default by entering the following text in your browser and clicking on reset all to default. Then restart your browser and check if the DNS error is gone. If the error is still not gone, try the other tricks here and be sure to check out the description for a link to a step-by-step -step guide for fixing network connections in Windows or Mac. You should also take a minute to contact your internet service provider and ask if there are any issues on their site and if they can work out a solution for you. Here are two more videos that can be really helpful for you. If you're stuck anywhere, comment below and I'll try my best to help you out. Hit that subscribe button if I was able to help you. It makes our team really Really happy. I'll sign off now. This is Julian, your friendly neighborhood geek, and I will see you again next week.